enter Udaipur, the city of lakes and palaces. This city is surrounded by lakes and mountains. And for the fans of Hindi cinema, movies like Guide, Yade, Ye Jawani Hai Diwani and my favourite Ramlila were shot here. However, most of the palaces are now converted into five-star hotels and a lot of weddings take place here. Let me take you to my first destination. That is the Gangor Ghat. It is the main ghat which is situated on the waterfront of Lake Pichola. You can enjoy bird watching and the lake view without being disturbed for hours. Next to the ghat, you must visit the Bhagor Ki Haveli, which is a museum that overviews the Rajasthani culture and richness. The entry ticket is about 60 rupees and you can also watch the traditional dance in the evening, which is an extra cost of 120 rupees. The palace has over 100 rooms that display costumes and traditional art. The glass and the mirror in the interiors is something you shouldn't miss. It also preserves an example of the Mewar painting on the walls of the Queen's Chamber. Most of the places in the city are in a cluster. Passing by small streets and walking around is a treat. Don't forget your walking shoes and continue to sip water at all times. Next on your list must be the Jagdish Temple, which was made in 1651, devoted to Lord Shiva and continues to be a place of worship even today. The elephant carvings and the mural statues are a must, especially for someone who is inspired by art. Don't miss having the Meethi Lassi next to the Mandir which will refresh you and give you so much more energy. Here is an advice to everyone travelling to Adepur. Start your day early so that you are able to cover most of the places and get away from the crowd. You can either rent out a scooty or a bike to travel within the city or hire a taxi for the entire day or just like me, take an auto rickshaw for the entire day. My next destination is Sajangar Fort also known as the Monsoon Palace. This cost would be around 150 to enter. In case you have your own vehicle, it is an extra cost to take your vehicle in. Okay, so I'm at Sajangarh. You have to take a government taxi, which I'm sitting in. You ha that is another 106 rupees. After you pay Bahar, that 150 rupees, which is like loot, yaar. But okay, if it's worth it, then money is Built in 1884, the palace offers a panoramic view of the city lakes, palaces and surrounding countryside. It was built in to watch the monsoon clouds and hence appropriately and popularly known as the Monsoon Palace. It is said that the Maharana built it on the top of the hill to get a view of his ancestral home. The Maharana originally planned a five-storey building. However, the plan got cancelled because he died a premature death. It was turned into a monsoon palace and a hunting lodge. If you have your own vehicle or you have your own scooty, you can come up on your own. Otherwise, you take a private taxi like this per person is 106, which I personally loot laga. But it's not gum gum kya hai. So I think I will take my words back. It was worth it. It was a very beautiful view, which I have seen you. And I am walking and exploring this place.
Oh my god, from whichever side you see, the views are magnificent. Don't you agree? From the views of the clouds, we are heading to Matakarni Temple, passing by the Fatehpur Sagar Lake. I am heading to the Nimachmala Mandir. So you take a ropeway, which is about 185 for, to and fro, and let's see if it's worth it. I am super excited about the ropeway because this is like worth it, dude. 185 bucks to and fro, and you can enjoy the views. Lucky me, I got the ropeway all by myself, and it's going up to the Kandi Mandir and right there, up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Ye view, dekho, bro. Oh my God, what a view! Full view of the river, of the lake. Oof, oof, oof. Maza hi aagya. Dekho, dekho, dekho. Itna sundar view hai of the lake. From the top, it's even better. Can't wait to go upper and show you ki kya finally dikhta hai. And I'm a little scared honestly kyunki mein akele hoon. <laughs> but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, finally hum pauch gaya ho. Oh, mora mandir aur, aur bhi paas se dikh raha hai. To abhi hume from here and uh, abhi dekhte hai kaisa jata hai. super excited but super scared also <gasps> okay this is the way to the mandir super excited abhi unko ticket bhi khani hai the matakarni temple is located on the macha mara hills you will view the stone idol of karni mata in conclusion this mandir is <laughs> worth coming for the ropeway is so amazing the view and the spiritual feeling that you would get when you come to this mandir, it's all worth it. We are now heading towards Sahelion Ki Bari, Garden of the Maidens. As the name suggests, it was made for the queen and her friends to chill. With fountains, flowers and greenery all over, it feels like the perfect chilling spot. Saving the best for the last, here I am at the city palace in the Jag Mandir. First heading towards the boat ride to reach Jag Mandir, which is in the center of the lake, and which obviously I can't wait to show you guys. So the price for the uh, Jag Mandir before 2 p.m. is 600 bucks, and then after 2 p.m., that's 4 onwards, they have a two-hour break, I think. It's 800 bucks. And I wonder why, but I'm gonna see it and let you know if that was also worth it. But I think the prices are way too high. And even for City Palace, to see the museum, it's about 550 bucks, which is again a steal. This is a beautiful City Palace and that is a national flag. And yes, I'm heading to the place where they will take me for a boat ride. And it's now getting a little windy, so which is a great thing. Oh my god, you guys, just see the beautiful lake and soak the feeling in. While you wait for your turn to get into the boat, here are a few things you must know. This place is always crowded and you will always have to wait in the queue for at least 20 to 25 minutes. It's like waiting for a special lush, if you know what I mean. The Jag Mandir was made on Lake Pichola in the year 1551 by the Maharajas of the royal family, which was used by the palace as a summer resort and pleasure palace for holding parties. How fancy, right? The popular name for Jag Mandir is the Lake Garden Palace, which is now a museum and also a place where you can basically enjoy some meals, drinks and not to miss the magnificent views. After feeling royal at the Jag Mandir, I am here at the city palace. This city palace, also known as the Raj Mahal, was built over 400 years with contributions from several rulers of the Mewar dynasty. Construction began in 1553. This city palace was built in a flamboyant style and is considered 
the largest of its type in the state of Rajasthan. It is built in the fusion of Rajasthani Rajput architecture, providing a panoramic view of the city and its surroundings. The city palace is now a museum with many visitors across the world coming to appreciate its achievements of the Mewar dynasty and its royal lifestyle.